Hello my friends, I am Sarah Watts. I am a fabric designer and Photoshop expert and I can't wait to show you 10 of my favorite Photoshop tools for artists. So this is the first video in the series and this video will feature the hue and saturation adjustments. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is if you look in the info box underneath the video, you can download a PDF that I've created for you to learn how to digitize your artwork, meaning just bringing all of your paintings and sketchbook drawings and you know whatever kind of things that you make on traditional mediums into the computer so that you can use them in programs like Photoshop. So it's completely free. It's 30 or more pages. It is incredibly valuable and you get it. So go ahead and check that out in the info box and I hope you enjoy this video. So we're going to dive into recoloring this moon painting in order to get a few different color palettes out of it. This is really convenient for artists that want to make art prints out of their artwork and sell multiple color variations. This is nice because you'll be able to reach an audience of people that like maybe a pink background on your moon painting, or maybe they want a yellow background on the moon painting. So you'll be able to and selling a print of each colorway. Not only that, but if you're working on commissioned work, you will definitely need to be able to make color adjustments to your artwork. So this is a very useful tool. So in this video, we're going to use the hue and saturation slider. This is a very robust feature in Photoshop and we are barely scratching the surface, but I wanna show you a quick and easy way to change the color of your artwork using the hue and saturation sliders. Hey, hey. so in this video, we are going to recolor this piece of artwork uh, using the hue and saturation sliders in Photoshop. So the hue and saturation sliders are an adjustment that you can make to your artwork in order to adjust the hue, saturation, and lightness of the image. And you can either do that with uh, destructive edits or non-destructive edits. Now in Photoshop, whenever someone's mentioning destructive edits, they just mean that you're making artwork changes to the artwork itself or you know photo changes, but you can use an adjustment layer to adjust the art or the photo without having to, you know, change the original art. So the preference would be to use an adjustment layer rather than using an adjustment on the actual artwork itself. So what I'm going to do is show you how to add an adjustment layer. Now, if you're new to Photoshop, uh, all you have to do in order to open up a scan of artwork that you're using is you'll go to file open and then you will go and find the piece of artwork that you want to use and then open it up. Photoshop works in layers and this is a much more in-depth uh, lesson that I do teach in my long format Photoshop course called From Paint to Pattern. Uh, I actually go over everything in Photoshop in that class and it opens up again for enrollment in the fall. Um, but I do want to show you how cool it is that Photoshop works in layers and basically you can have like pretty much a thousand layers of things going on in Photoshop. But here you're looking at uh, what I like to think of as the Photoshop sandwich. So this is the side view of the sandwich and every layer that you add in here is another piece of topping for your sandwich. For example, cheese or lettuce or, you know, onions, whatever. And then over here, this is the artboard and this is looking at the top view of the sandwich. So this is, you know, the side view of the sandwich with all the layers and then the top view of the sandwich. So if I fill in this very top layer with a color, then I'm no longer going to see that artwork because all of these layers are clear and that's why we can see this art now. But if I fill this in with the color, now that artwork is hidden. So I'd basically just put a new piece of bread on top of my sandwich, okay? Um, okay, so we're gonna go to image adjustments and then we're going to go to hue saturation. And I wanna show you what I meant by doing a destructive edit, okay? So if I use the hue saturation slider, the hue part, you can see that it's changing the actual artwork, okay? Now the hue saturation slider, I wanna show you real quick what this does. Hue is the color 
of the uh, the adjustment that you're making, right? So hue means color. So just think of the color wheel and any of the colors in the color wheel that fall in those 12 color, um, you know, ranges on the color wheel is called the hue. So, you know, orange, yellow, orange, green, yellow, green, those are all hues, okay? So this is a yellow hue and this is a bluish hue. Now your saturation is how much color is in the artwork, okay? So if we've got this blue color and I want to put more of that blue and also the green and the moon, I can up the saturation by making the hue the most intense version of itself, okay? So this is just how much color. Now we've got the most here and as we go left, it starts to desaturate or lose color, okay? Saturate, desaturate. Um, and then we have lightness. So lightness is basically just the artwork being bright or dark. And using the global edit of lightness on artwork is just, it's kind of pointless because it changes everything. You're changing the lightness and the darkness to every single pixel. So there's uh, the, the preference to using, you know, to brighten something would be to use uh, the levels uh, adjustment. So I would recommend that if you're trying to change the value range in your artwork without compromising, you know, all of the, the value ranges and all of the colors. Okay. So anyway, so what I want you to do is instead of just going to image adjustments and making the edit to the actual artwork, I want you to create an adjustment layer. So you're gonna go down here, okay, to this layers panel, and here, this little cookie or half moon shape, if you just let the, the button hover over that, it'll say create new fill or adjustment layer. And so we'll click on that. Okay, and we're gonna click on hue saturation. Now over here, you'll notice properties shows all of those hue saturation sliders that we were just looking at. Now, um, properties is basically the panel that shows you whatever options you can do with the current layer that you're on, okay? So right now, you know, I'm on a hue saturation layer, so I get to change the hue and saturation in this properties panel, all right? Now, here's where we're gonna go and change the artwork a little bit. So first, I wanna show you how I would go about changing this yellow moon to let's say a blue color and then how we'll change this teal background to maybe a pink color okay now we could just change the hue and hope that we would get there right but it's not going to work that way because what we're doing when we change the hue is when we go towards blue we're basically adding blue to each color okay so when that teal gets blue added to it it starts to go through the whole range of colors and when that yellow moon gets blue added to it, it starts to get green. So that's a global edit. What we want to do is go to master and go to yellows and then change just the yellows, right? Wow, cool. So maybe I can get this blue color, okay? Now I'm going to go and change the cyans, which hopefully will get that background color to adjust. And we want to get it to be a pink. Now let's just say you want that pink to be more saturated. And let's say you want the yellow moon to get a little more saturated now, okay? So what's awesome is I can go and print this same exact artwork in a pink and blue colorway, and that will widen the range of people that will buy this print because I now have an option for the people who would prefer a pink background in my artwork, okay? Uh, so that was super fun, right? But one of my favorite things in hue saturation is, uh, let's just, I'm going to throw away this hue uh, saturation layer. Yes. And make a new one down to the cookie. And hue saturation is right here. Now, if you want to do a new adjustment layer somewhere else, you can actually go up to here on layer and go to new adjustment layer and then go ahead and pick hue saturation. Now, in natural Photoshop fashion, there is one more way that you can add an adjustment layer, 
and that is by using the adjustments panel. So if you scroll over each one of these, these are all of the different adjustments that you would find up here under layer, new adjustment layer, okay? So you could do it here, over here on the adjustments panel and in the layer panel itself. Now, if you have a certain panel that you need that you don't see over here, if you go to window, you can bring up all of those different panels right here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna just add it real quick from the adjustments panel by clicking on the hue and saturation one. And there you have it, it's brought it up in this properties panel. So this is my favorite way to do a little more, uh, you know, specific granular changes with a color palette. Uh, what you'll do is there's a little hand right here. Hello hand, click on that. You're gonna pick this yellow moon, okay? So we just eyedroppered that moon and now that yellow is selected. Now on that hand, you'll notice that there's two arrows going left and right. So what that's saying is if you scroll left and right, it's going to change the saturation, okay? Pretty cool, right? But if you wanna change the hue using this tool, you can do the same thing. So what you'll do is you'll hit Command and go left and right, and that will very specifically change the moon color to a different hue, okay? So here we are changing that moon color. So let's get it to that blue that we'd like to, to use. Okay. Now I'm going to pick this teal background and I'm gonna hold down Command and we're gonna change that to the pink we were going for. Now if I undo Command, I can do the saturation a little bit, okay? Ooh, that, that vibrates a little bit, but it's still fun. All right, so I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the hue and saturation sliders in Photoshop, as well as a little bit about how layers work and how you can use this awesome little hand tool in the hue and saturation adjustment in order to modify the saturation and the hue. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you don't mind liking and subscribing to my channel so that I can continue to grow it and show you more awesome tips in Photoshop. I will see you on the next video.